Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and today I'm making a short video about a Merletto style Wizen beer glass that Xander D'Ambrosio made recently at a glass workshop at the Appalachian Center for Craft in Tennessee. That's the glass he's showing off on his Instagram feed. Go find them, go follow them. And Merletto is that pattern that you can see there, which is made by heating cane up, and that's what he has on that posturelli, on that white shelf, or cane that he made before. He's going to fuse those all together and make a bubble out of them. And once he's made that bubble, go straight into an optic mold, and that will kind of twist up the white lines, which you can see there really briefly. And he went back in the optic mold, and you saw him twisting in the opposite direction there. So now those white threads that were on the canes that he made were getting really twisted up. And just for good measure, just because he wants to, he's going back in for a third time and really getting it twisted up. And those white threads are just going to be kind of all over the place inside of those cane that he picked up. And so now he's going to shape up his glass as he wants it, get a clear gather of glass over it, and go forward shaping the Wizen beer glass that uh, he's aimed for. So if you watch this video, and I'll try not to talk you through the whole thing. Um, some of it's unnecessary for me to try to explain, but if you watch the video, sometimes you'll see on the floor he drew the shape that he's looking for. So you can, there it is, right there. At the right kind of if you see it so he's inflating it um, getting as much volume as he feels he needs and if you'll notice he's doing this demo all by himself and he has a blue hose that he uses to inflate the piece he doesn't have it on all the time but it's available when he needs it to inflate that glass piece so he has most of the volume that he wants he'll, he'll blow a few more times but now he's starting to lengthen that bubble go for the shape that he drew on the floor if you look on your right, that's gonna be the bottom of the piece. And the one right now attached to the pipe on the left, that's gonna be the mouth of the piece after he breaks it off. So he has to turn it over and then shape it up. So he's drawing the length out and now he's putting that waist in, that, that really traditional shape of a Wizen beer glass. And he decided he wanted to add a solid foot to that. So he's gonna get this ready to accept a solid foot. And remember, he's doing this by himself. So he will spool on a bit of hot glass on the bottom to make the cookie foot or the patty foot, whatever you want to call it, to make that, he'll, he'll do that by himself. So sort of shaping that sort of, he's shaping that waist, getting the proportions the way he wants it. And there's a really good shot of the Merletto pattern. And here he is, he's gathering with his right hand, fresh, clear glass. And he's gonna spool that right on to the bottom of that beer glass. He makes it look easy, I promise you it's not. That has taken many years of practice, and I'm, I'm sure just a few few failures along the way. So now he's going to shape that up, center it up, get it in line with the foot of the, the beer glass. And anytime someone's working with glass, you can tell where the heat is by which part is the orangest. So you can see most of the heat right there is in the foot where he's working, which is where it should be. So he likes that. It's time to turn it over and work on the mouth of the piece. He has the waist and the foot where he wants it. He's going to want to put a little bit more volume in the top half, sort of a more bulbous shape. And he'll use another tool for that. But first, you got to break this off. He's going to shape the lip. So it's probably a little thick right where it knocked off the pipe. First, he's going to straighten it up right now. So it looks like he was not quite on center and you want to make sure he's exactly on center so rotate it a couple times squeeze it put it back where it needs to be to make sure that it's on center and then he's going to start putting heat on the lip and he's going to tweeze it out he's going to make a little flower and use jacks to use that flower or anchor and, and pull it out so you can stretch the mouth of the piece see right there pull that out stretch it. he's going to break that off and now he has a really clean mouth of the piece really even and it's much thinner than it was before more in line with what you would want for a drinking glass so using his metal jacks he's going to go in he's going to open it up a little bit just enough for that the puffer the sofietta and he's adding volume to that bulbous area up top sort of the shoulder he's adding volume to the shoulder and he's going to put a little angle on it and get the silhouette and the proportions that he's looking for using his wood jacks there or his our trophies.
just finishing it up, sort of getting the shape that he likes, the proportions that he likes. Make sure that lip is straight, everything's on center. And again, this whole thing was done all by himself, which is hard to do and not done very often in the glass blowing world. So before he knocks it off, he's gonna add a little heat to the putty to make sure there's a good separation. And there's a great shot. I mean, that's beautiful. That's really what you're looking for when you when you say Merletto, that's that's it right there. He's gonna knock it off into an annealing oven around 900 degrees, give or take. He's gonna put a stamp on the bottom first, put it away in the oven, and then tomorrow or the next day, it'll be down at room temperature. So after 14 or 16 hours of slow cooling, then you can bring it onto the real world and show it off to your friends right there. So there he is, Xander D'Ambrosio. Go find him on Instagram, like his work, cool guy, cool glass, Merletto Wizen beer glass.